Hello, everyone, everyone. I am here for my review of Our Kind of People, Season 1, Episode 7. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I am Lady T. I like to do reviews on scripted reality shows as well as scripted shows. If you return, one of my people, I will go back. We don't have any comments from last week's video, so we're going to jump last week's review, so we're going to jump right on in. This is a kind of be careful what you wish for. Because Leah, she wanted to take over Franklin Holden. She wanted to be the big boss. But she didn't want to do it at the expense of Daddy Franklin's help. This is as simple as that. On top of that, like, she's dealing with, um, you know, her husband's ex back in town, spreading all the family's business, and finding out that the only reason that your husband's ex left him is because your daddy and your mother-in-law conspired to get her up out of here. So, we're going to break it down. Leah and Raymond, they have trust issues. She didn't tell him what was going on with Daddy Franklin and his health. He brought his ex in town to start spy on Daddy Franklin. She's hiding companies from him. But even with all that, him not being able to trust her because she doesn't fully tell him everything and she's always taking Daddy Franklin's side. Raymond says he wants to save his marriage. That's what he wants to do. He's going to save his marriage. We can't trust each other and you've been going by my back and I've been going behind your back. But doggone it, I want us to work things out and get together. I was like, a simple communication talking would help as we found out in the end. So, Nikki and Nate, they are getting to know each other, and it's Daddy Franklin's birthday party, and he wanted to have something nice to wear. It's just that while they were out shopping, he has a panic attack when he sees the police. He thought they was there because he went to a nice store and bought an outfit, and he's like, and uh, maybe the store owners thought I was up to something. So, he gets to, like, telling Nikki, um, Daddy Franklin's, um, lawyer's number he says it once and then like as he said again he like freezes as the police is coming his way and nikki's freaking out because she don't know what to do she ain't been in no situation like this she don't know if that the dad they finna come to her and arrest the daddy I'm like you ain't done nothing but that that's never stopped you know the police before but it turns out they're not even there for him they like walk right past him that, that he might as well not even been standing there the way they walk past him but, like, this freaks Nikki out. This makes him, like, okay. But you gotta remember, this man ain't been in prison for darn near 20 years. And, you know, he not having, you know, the best relationship with police and, you know, guards and all those other things. But, y'all, Daddy Franklin's birthday look like fun. I want to go to... Like a theme birthday party, like a 70s thing, a 60s thing. I think this was like the 20s, 30s, 40s. I don't know what time it was, but like it was a lot of that dancing like that. And the little, um, I don't know what the kind of, the Josephine Baker era that, that's what it was giving me. I don't remember what era that is, y'all. And I'm should have looked at the but didn't. That's the era it was giving me. And I was like, that looks like so much fun. Wouldn't know where I would get an outfit from. But they, they seem to have found outfits. But I'm, it's probably like some vintage stores that sell outfits like that or whatnot. Or if you got the good money, you can get it made, you know, handmade and all that good stuff. But yeah, it, it looked real fun. You know, um, Angela, Leah, Nikki, and Taylor, they did this little... No, Lauren. Yes, Lauren. They all did this little dance with Daddy Franklin. He was having a good time. I was like, yes, that was, that was fun. <sighs> but Tyree, he over there mad. And, and like Angela, she's trying to talk to him. And he's the whole episode. He he. Ever since he found out his dad committed suicide, he been a different person. He don't want to talk. He want to use sex as a way of not. He was de dealing with his um and dealing with what happened and avoiding talking about what happened and gets mad at Angela when she wants to talk about it and like she just wants to talk 
and we're not just gonna be having sex all the time express your feelings i know this is hard but this is something you have went through but he's steady and steady pushing her back because he's mad about whatever and getting drunk in the process so y'all raymond's so-called friend first of all like tried to push up on leah you know he been already and snuck a kiss on her and, you know, like, basically, this my room, come on, this my room, you know, this a key, come on over. And she already knew what's going on with Raymond and, you know, all the secrets that they've been keeping from each other and her being mad. And she almost took him up on the offer, but she had to call Leah. And this is where I get out. I'm already, like, mad at the show because, like, Angela is, you know, being so nice to them and thinking that she's been welcomed into the family. And I think Leah is slowly, slowly breaking down her walls of, okay, accepting her. I don't believe the same thing about Daddy Franklin. He's putting on the smile and inviting them to parties and dinners and stuff like that. I don't, I still think he wants to take her down. Leah, on the other hand, is like, she's slowly, slowly letting her guard down and letting Angela in and like, she called Angela like, I got this card. I was going to go to dude's house, but I just can't do it. I just cannot go over to this man's house. Now, over at his house, he think the Angela, he think Leah's showing up, and it's Raymond. And Raymond, he tells Raymond, I signed over all my shares to Daddy Franklin. Yeah, in perpetuity. So, basically, you got that old man to deal with forever. Now, I believe this is a company that uh, Raymond's several time over grandfather or grandfather and this the friends, you know, several time over grandfather built together. I was like, you, you messed up for that for one, trying to get with this man's wife and two, just doing that just to. to and I think the only reason Raymond gave over the company supposed to be temporarily to daddy franklin is because the friend got into some mess and they needed to get some things together and then you do this and then to add insult to injury yeah i was always lacking on your wife i want her to come over here so you think you're gonna say that and then i hear that you didn't sold over the shares to our company to daddy franklin yeah you're gonna get to like on four to the face this is what you're gonna get So, Angela decides to invite Nate to come stay with them so they could co-parent Nikki together. You know, Nikki, during their 18 years old and almost grown, he tired of living at Daddy Franklin's house anyway. And she invites him there to, you know, be with Nikki. This ain't got nothing to do with me and you. We ain't trying to get back together, none of that. It's just his whole purpose. I look ashy in the lips and I am so not. It's just that the lighting and this piece of light from the blind and just want to just be on my face. But anyways, back to what I was talking about. Tyreek shows up and sees him hugging, jumps to conclusions, talking about some they trying to get be together and she's going behind his back. And she's like, Tyreek, you are drunk right now. You need to go home. You need to sober up. This is not a good look for you. She She didn't even try to get an attitude with him. She's like, this ain't it. You were drunk. You were speaking out of the side of your neck. We seen Raymond and Leah. They finally, like, she was like, finally, I was only looking into our family legacy LLC or whatever it was, our property, whatever it was. She was trying to help Raymond, but she got caught and ended up being not able to look into the book. She was trying to help and not telling him that she was trying to help. He thought she was doing other things when she wasn't. They said, we go put all, and they finally sat there and talked to each other and like, okay, we're going to put all our drama behind us and we're going to make it work. The only thing is, Lori was using Leah's car and seen a hotel key, called it and figured out it was for, for Raymond's friend who I can't think of his name. Now, she had already seen this dude kiss on her mama. And now you're seeing the hotel key in your mama's car with this dude 
and then she didn't jump to conclusions. I say, first of all, you should have threw that key away. But anyway, so that was the gist. If I left anything out, by all means, leave a comment. But no, if you left anything out before now, anything now, what was now? Yes, before now. Yeah, I knew it before everything now. So that was the gist. If you left anything out, by all means, leave a comment below. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Feel free to subscribe. It's free all day, every day, free 99. Make sure your notifications are on to my beautiful Facebook of a video. You can click on it. You can like it and share it with your people. And you can come over and be one of my peoples. If you're already one of my peoples, oh, welcome back. Y'all know what to do. Tell your people, tell their people to come over and be one of my peoples by clicking that icon above. This is Lady T signing off. Have a good one.